Big Show, presented by Seat77.com. As always, Dave Dubai is coming to you live from the Super Plus Seat 77 broadcast studio in the heart of Silicon Valley. Now, Dave Dubai. Good afternoon, North America. This is the Dave DeBaugh Big Show for a Super Tuesday. All right, silent one, producer Buck, have we got a huge, I mean huge show for everybody today. In honor of Super Tuesday, we have a new segment on the Big Show, Stupid Things Donald Trump Says. (laughs) Kyrie Irving wants out of Cleveland. DeMarcus Cousins almost punches an NBA player who looks like a star of that 70s show. The legend of Steph Curry continues to grow. And leave it to the Clippers. That's right, the Clippers, to wait until midseason to unveil a new mascot. (laughs) All of that and more on today's super big show. Okay, so producer Buck, uh, it has been a tremendous week so far. It is Super Tuesday, North America. That means a lot of you are actually going to the polls today. Um, so a couple, uh, a couple real quick notes. Um, uh, info at seat77.com. Go ahead and uh, send us your emails. Uh, the iTunes channel, we've said it before and we'll say it again. It is blowing up, so make sure you subscribe to the iTunes channel when you have a chance. Um, a couple other notes. So we got we got a couple um, emails yesterday. And one of the emails said, well, why are you covering the Oscars, Debaugh? Isn't this supposed to be a sports show? And, you know, the reality is the Oscars was watched by 34 million people, every single headline on every major newspaper website, entertainment website, and even a lot of the sports websites involved the Oscars. Uh, This is uh, not just a sports show. We also uh, will be covering some pop culture (laughs) as it it pops up uh, North America. Okay. Um, also, I wanted to uh, mention to everybody that they should also feel free to go ahead and tweet us at Seat77 app. Uh, that's the big Twitter account. Um, our Facebook uh, Seat77 uh, account is doing extraordinarily well as well. So um, lots of ways to reach out to the big Dave DeBaugh big show. All right. So um, a couple things. Uh, speaking of Twitter. Um, we got a, uh, a tweet yesterday from David O'Hara and David says, any news or Intel on Kaepernick's where Kaepernick may land in 2016. So being here in the heart of the silly con Valley, it is a good question. And what we can tell you is that it's, it's like a 90% chance that there will be an actual divorce of some sort between Colin Kaepernick, and the San Francisco 49ers. Chip Kelly, he actually never had a chance to even date (laughs) Colin Kaepernick. So Chip's not even going to have a chance to work with him. There are two teams that we currently have targeted. Now, everybody else has been talking about the Browns and the Jets and even the Broncos. Um, The Texans are, are still in play despite what you heard. And the team that the 49ers do not want to trade Kaepernick to, but might have to, is the Los Angeles Rams of L.A. You got to love it. I hope they actually call themselves the Los Angeles Rams of L.A. Producer Buck. I think that'd be fantastic. Okay. Um, So lots to cover on today's uh, big show. Um, We are going to get into the stupid things that Donald Trump says segment uh, a little uh, later in the show. And because God knows. He makes a lot of stupid things. Now, I I do want to say this. Look, if Hillary Clinton um, says a bunch of stupid things, we will put it on the air. If 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 Bernie Sanders gets out and says a lot of stupid things, we'll put it on the air. Look, the Republican Party has been taken over, (laughs) has been taken over by just I I don't even know how to describe uh, Donald Trump and Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz at this point. They, they don't fit into 
any kind of real category. They're conservatives, but they're blowhards. I mean, if you have a chance, <laughs> I recommend heading over to CNN and playing. They have this segment producer book on CNN, which is fantastic. And it is from the last Republican debate. And it's it's basically a, uh, a summary of the entire Republican debate. And it's just a minute and a half of insults going back and forth. And there's no policy talk between any of them. There, there's no substance at all. It's just <laughs> it's just Donald Trump talking about water and Marco Rubio talking about makeup. It's unbelievable. Okay, so um, we're going to get into some sports first. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody saw this last night, but DeMarcus Cousins uh, almost decked Stephen Adams of the Oklahoma Thunder last night as the uh, Sacramento Sun, uh, Sacramento Suns, as the Sacramento Kings. I, I tell you, the Trump stuff just gets me going. As the Sacramento Kings lost to OKC at home 131 to 116. Okay, so here's what happened in the game last night. DeMarcus Cousins um, basically at one point earlier in the game kind of sprained his ankle. He went back into the game, and at some point, Stephen Adams, the man that looks like he belongs in that 70s show, you know, he's got the goatee for somebody that looks like somebody who's a member of the Hells Angels. Um, he's got the, the long hair. His hair is so long, he's got to put it into a ponytail. It's... it's uh, It's ridiculous. So Steven Adams uh, takes down DeMarcus Cousins. And then DeMarcus Cousins, he cocks his arm back like full steam, like he's about to throw a huge hammer. And then he stops and he catches himself and he doesn't throw the punch. So congrats to DeMarcus Cousins for holding back on what he really wanted to do. Okay, other big news in the world of sports uh, today. Um, Stephen A. Smith from the uh, the, the great show uh, First Take, him and Skip Bayless, those two, always chatting it up about stuff. Uh, sometimes what Stephen A. Smith does is he, he gets a feeling. He's, he's kind of like Trump, uh, and we'll get into Trump a little bit later, but he gets a feeling, and then he, he kind of hears some stuff, but he doesn't really have any real facts um, but then he kind of he kind of puts it all together. He waits a couple months, and then he eventually says something. Um, and so that happened two days ago, where Stephen A. Smith basically came out and said Kyrie Irving is not happy. He wants to be traded. He wants out of Cleveland. By the way, the Cavs won last night as they beat the Pacers, one hundred and ninety six. Does Kyrie Irving remember that LeBron James has been to the NBA Finals six times? That's five times in a row. If ever there was somebody to jump on who's going to take you to the NBA Finals consistently, it is LeBron James. Sure, he might not win, (laughs) but he's been there six times. He's been there twice with the city of Cleveland, Kyrie. So why is Kyrie so upset? Well, look, when Kyrie was there, And if you think back to before LeBron decided to come back to Cleveland, Kyrie was there and he was the person in charge. The rumors of LeBron coming back to Cleveland began. And Kyrie said, no, you know what? That's okay. We're fine. We don't need him. And then a year went by and they got destroyed. The Cavs were one of the worst teams in basketball. They had a terrible season. I don't even know uh, if they won more than 20 games that year. Um, And so Kyrie said, yes, do what you can do. Bring back LeBron. So LeBron comes back. They go out and they get Kevin Love, who was very unhappy in Minnesota because the Timberwolves have no way of ever winning anything, which is really sad as a Timberwolf fan. Um, but it's true. Um, so Stefan Marbury. Um, so so Kyrie comes. So Kyrie says, "Okay, come on, bring in LeBron. Bring in Kevin Love. Uh, who else do you want?" The Cleveland Cavaliers have actually spent the most amount of money in the NBA. They have the most money on their books against the salary cap of any National Basketball Association team. So clearly, the ownership group wants the Cleveland Cavaliers to win. And they did make the finals last year. And I bet you they make the finals again this year. The question is, can they get through the Golden State Warriors? 
Um, and, and I've said this before on the show, and I'm sure I'll say it again. I, I actually think that if the planets align correctly, the Cavs can actually beat the Warriors this year with who they currently have on the team. So anyway, so last night after the big victory, <laughs> after they took down the Pacers, Kyrie came out and said, no, no, look, I'm happy. I'm happy. I want to stay here. I want to be a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I don't know where that story came from. It was a bunch of crap. None of it's true. I'm all about winning a championship for Cleveland. That's what Kyrie Irving said last night. You tell us what you think, North America. We want to hear from you. Info at Seat77.com. Tweet us at the Seat77 app on Twitter. Or check us out on Facebook. Personally, Kyrie Irving is one of the only people in the entire world. (laughs) I don't know if you know this, Producer Buck. Who has his own shoe? Kyrie needs to just shut up and go along for the ride. Um... Okay, so a couple other quick um, uh, quick notes from uh, around. I can't wait to get into the Clipper mascot. Um, so we'll, we'll uh, wrap up the show with the big Clipper mascot when we have a chance. Um, okay, so we're going to... Um, uh, uh, okay, so producer Buck saying the legend of Steph Curry grows. As we all know, Steph Curry had an amazing weekend. We didn't cover it on Monday's show. One of the reasons we didn't cover it on Monday's show is... We, we looked back and, and listened to the tapes from last week, and I think we covered the Golden State Warriors, I don't know, like three or four times in the past week. Um, and we're trying to be objective. Uh, so we try to cover a little bit of everything. But how can you not cover? <laughs> how can you not cover what happened on Saturday night against OKC? Steph was unbelievable. Um Do you have the audio from the ABC broadcast? Okay, Producer Buck, go ahead and play that now. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way down top. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. Bam, bam. Go Steph Curry. Uh, I got to tell you, we had the family around. We were watching the game. And it was like a playoff atmosphere game here at the big... Dave DeBaugh household. We went ballistic when Steph hit that that three-pointer. It's like, you know, when you're a kid and and you get really excited when you make a basket or you have that, you know, you you saw a really great movie for the first time as a kid and it just, it has that lingering effect and, and you have that great sense, that great feeling. That's what you get from either a great movie or from, great basketball or some sort of great sporting event. And we had those those chills, if you will, uh, producer Buck um, uh, at the big house. Now, look, uh, LeBron James, D. Wade, uh, Magic Johnson, uh, Rudy Gay, Jordan Clarkson, Jamal Crawford, Kristaps uh, 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 Przingis, even, even the rookie, um, Dirk Nowitzki. Look, the list goes on and on and on of NBA players who came out and basically said Steph Curry was unreal. If there was anybody else that thought they had a chance at winning the NBA MVP this year, that went out the door with that 32 or 35 foot, you decide. I I call it a 35 foot uh, three pointer. Um, uh, Because Steph is definitely gonna win the MVP this year. Um, listen, hashtag, <laughs> we're having a little fun. We've, we've got a online campaign going. Hashtag four point line. Go ahead and spread the word. Um, uh, we, we are, we believe that there should be a four point line for shots that far, um, from the, um, basket. Oh, by the way, um, a quick shout out to the folks over at ESPN, uh, ESPN Sports Science. Uh, there is a, uh, a great video. If you have a chance, uh, check it out on ESPN um, with regards to the three-point shot that Steph made. And they really do a fantastic job of uh, producer Buck of kind of covering how all of it, uh, how the, the dimensions of how easy it would have been for Steph um, to actually miss that shot. Okay, so um, two stories to go. Uh, it is Super Tuesday, North America. 
it is time for you to vote. <laughs> uh, unless you're in California and several of the other uh, states that aren't part of Super Tuesday. Um, and so, you know, regardless of your political view, if you're on the right or if you're on the left, um, you really should be concerned <laughs> about what is happening in the Republican Party. Now, most likely, <clears throat> and, and I think it's safe to say at this point, that most likely Donald Trump will win the Republican nomination. But I think it's important for everybody out there to just kind of take a step back. Republican, Democrat, liberal, far right, independent, and say, do you really want this guy to be president? Producer Buck, go ahead and run the tape. I'm going to ask you about the Anti-Defamation League, which this week called on you to publicly condemn unequivocally the racism of former KKK Grand Wizard David Duke, who recently said that voting against you at this point would be treason to your heritage. Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? Well, just so you understand, I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy or white supremacists. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Did, did he endorse me or what's going on? Because, you know, I know nothing about David Duke. I know nothing about white supremacists. And so you're asking me a question that I'm supposed to be talking about people that I know nothing about. But I guess the question from the, from the Anti-Defamation League is, even if you don't know about their endorsement, there are these groups and individuals endorsing you. Would you just say unequivocally you condemn them and you don't want their support? Well, I have to look at the group. I mean, I don't know what group you're talking about. You wouldn't want me to condemn a group that I know nothing about. I have to look. If you would send me a list of the groups, I will do research on them. And certainly I would disavow if I thought there was something wrong. The but you Ku may Klux have Klan? groups in there that are totally fine and it would be very unfair. So give me a list of the groups and I'll let you know. OK. I mean, I'm just talking about David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan here. But I don't know. Any, honestly, I don't know David Duke. I don't believe I've ever met him. I'm pretty sure I didn't meet him. And I just don't know anything about him. I mean, really, producer Buck, do you want, I got it, honestly, do you want somebody that doesn't know who David Duke is, the former leader of the Ku Klux Klan, to actually be president of the United States? Do you really want to give that guy access to the codes? Do you really want that guy to have a red phone so he can call the Kremlin. I mean, it is crazy the stupid things that Donald Trump says. A new segment on the Dave DeBaugh Big Show. Listen, North America, this is important stuff. So when you go to vote in November, because I guarantee Trump will get the Republican nomination, you've got to do the right thing. And the last thing you want is somebody taking us back 75 years. And that is exactly what I think you would get with uh, Donald Trump as president. It's unbelievable. That statement was unbelievable. And the fact that he's even getting away with it, the fact that he hasn't had to pull out of the race because of that statement is, is amazing, uh, is amazing to me. Okay. Um, and for our final <laughs> story of the night producer bug info at seat77.com uh tell us what you think at the seat 77 app um on twitter and also catch us on facebook producer buck wants me to shamelessly remind everybody of all of those things uh also um a little later in the week we will be covering um both the nfl combines so we've got a couple interviews as well as some major league baseball uh, coming up later in the week on the big Dave DeBaugh Big Show. Okay, it's a bird. <laughs> it's a plane. It's the Clippers' new mascot. Uh, producer Buck, go ahead and play the audio. Come on, Clipper Nation! Even even the announcer for the Clippers <laughs> can't believe that they have 
a new mascot. Okay, do you want to know what the Clippers' new mascot is? Okay, it is a condor, like a California condor mascot. And and do you want to know what the California condor mascot's name is? It's Chuck the Condor. And do you want to know what Chuck is named after? Of course, Chuck Taylor. <laughs> it, leave it to the Clippers, seriously. This is why the Clippers are the Clippers. They have they have 30 games left, basically 30 games left in the season. That means about 60, 65% of the season is gone. And the Clippers wait until mid-season to roll out their new mascot. So here's what happened in Clipperland. The Clippers rolled out their new uniforms and they rolled out their new logos and they had some other sort of some other sort of little mascot that they were trying out and it didn't work. <laughs> It didn't work. So they decided, well, what the heck? We're just going to roll out something new in the middle of the year. And that's what they did with Chuck the Condor. You guys got to check out. Trust me, you got to check out Chuck the Condor uh, when you have a chance. It is uh, really uh, fantastic. How many times can the Clippers actually go through a rebranding? That is the question, North America. I want to know what you think. Okay, Um, so that is it for today's uh, Dave DeBaugh, uh, super big show. Um, remember, uh, Kyrie really doesn't want to be traded, or does he? Um, uh, DeMarcus Cousins uh, took on a member of that 70s show. The Clippers have a new mascot named Chuck the Condor, and nobody should vote for Donald Trump because he doesn't know who David Duke of the Ku Klux Klan is. <laughs> All of that uh, was covered today on today's Super Big Show. Listen, on North America, Steph Curry for MVP. For the silent one, I am Dave DeBaugh, reminding you that not everyone can be a champion, but everyone can act like one, Cam. And good luck, North America. (laughs) 